back to the world with Sissy Axe. I'm Taya. I'm Tamaj. And today we're reacting to Mandalorian Season 3, Chapter 19, The Convert. So, yeah, last we left off, uh, we were in the minds of Mandalore. Y'all said that that was the Minotaur or whatever that bo, -Bo was talking about when she was telling that tale. Looked like It looked like it snatched bo um, Mando up, but I'm not sure. But Grogu went on a whole rescue mission and got bo -Katan. We're not going to just breeze over that fact. Grogu was great. Um, he put his training into work and he got out of there and he did the damn thing. So shout out to Grogu and Bo-Katan. Um, so let's see what they do because the, the Mines of Mandalore are still there. So I know they're going to want to try to fix this planet some way, somehow. Let's see how they do it. He also has to convince uh, the rest of the Creed to one, accept him back, which I think he can do. Yeah. And two, get them to try to come help. Uh, so let's see where this goes. Full and other reactions are available on Patreon. <coughs> oh, Grogu's standing by his side. I am redeemed. I witnessed it. You bathed in the living waters. You are Mandalorian again. Can we leave now? <laughs> Can I ask you something? What is it? You see anything down there? I saw the chasm pass me as I fell. I didn't realize it was so deep. It wasn't. The bomb mains from the purge must have triggered seismic activities. Did no. you see anything alive? Alive? Like what? Nothing. Let's get out of here. You don't believe your own eyes? Or you just don't want to tell them about it? You don't Y'all know I can't see these dark scenes, so I don't know what she's looking at. Y'all can tell me in the comments if it's something significant because I cannot see. Star Wars is not meant to be watched with the lights on. I ain't gonna see my black ass if the lights is off, so. You will forever have my gratitude. I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that helmet isn't coming off again. This is the way. This, this is, is the, the way. way. <laughs> Grogu said it. Oh! I took a hit. Something's coming up on its back. It looks like a squadron of TIE interceptors. <laughs> How close are we to Kalabama? Not far. Get us back there and I'll reinforce from the N1. That didn't sound good. It's always nice to have a passenger that can shoot for you. Where'd they come from? I stepped off a lot of Imperial Warlords. I'm going to get mad when you hijack their ships. Now you tell me. Now you tell me. If he, he can eject, he'll be fine. He has his uh, jetpack. Deceptors are a lot tougher than TIE fighters. Are you still up for the transfer? I don't see any other choice. <laughs> Grove is like, I do not want to see none of this shit. Stand up, Oak Todd ship. Because he's going to back her up by getting his ship. So they have two ships fighting instead of one. Uh huh. Thankfully, his ship is fast, like ready to go. I would love to. I didn't get to spend enough time in Star Wars land. I know, but that took away from everything else. Don't worry, I grew up That was dope. I think I can see why Hera likes being a pilot. It would be kind of fun. The thrill of the fly would be it for me. 
seeing something on the scope. Oh, uh -huh. looks big. Oh, they bombed her, her place she was staying at. Yeah, they she stole a ship. Or ship, she said. Bro, get out. She's pissed. Bo, we've got company. Too much Bo, company. Listen to me. You have to get out of there. She's pissed. I'd be pissed too. They are pissed at her. Bro, we can't go anywhere. I guess it's almost great that Grogu did go get her and let all that happen because she would have been there when they bombed it and killed her. Yeah. Another way to start the episode. Guess she stuck with us for a bit. Are we on Coruscant? Right, beautiful. Why are we here? I appreciate you letting me speak here tonight. The amnesty program saved my life. There are many of us who had no choice in working for the Empire, but now the New Republic has given us a second chance. Oh, that's guy. So thank you. He's shady, though. I now hope to help the New Republic in whatever way I can. Though that work is now behind me and I regret what I did, I assure you that my original intentions were good. The earpiece. When I was young, I lost my mother. Here you go. What is this called? The you person who I admired this. most. This is pathos, right? Had simple organ cloning been available on my home world, her death would have been easily preventable. It was then that I vowed to make it my life's work to help others avoid such needless loss. My work explored was the hopes of combining multiple strands to create replicas that incorporated the best genetic attributes of both donors. It's that quite sounds dangerous. Who wants to be playing the genes? Rejected the form. I'm so glad you're working for us now. Thank you. Why are we here? Because well, I don't want to see these people. Back to cloning and stuff. Why? The Bad Batch arc right now is touching on cloning, so. Uh, you talk too much. Let me enjoy the ride. I found the month of the Power Star to be utterly. Ah, look at that. Here we are. Amnesty Housing. Go to for a drink. Amnesty Scientist, L52. You're new. What do you mean? To the program. The pins, they make it hard to hide. So. Yes. I was just transferred from their reintegration institute. Welcome to Amnesty Housing. It's paradise in comparison. This is G27, M40, G68. Doctor. Everything all right? They know each other. They work I didn't together. expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. Gideon? Yeah. I heard he escaped the route to the war tribunal. No, that was just a cover story. I heard they hooked him up to a mind flare. Mind flare? Let's see if their intentions are true. I'm guessing not. Since Long live the New Republic. This story. I mean, I feel like his is, but I don't know about hers. But she also seems to have some regret. I don't know. I see, Doctor. They could be really good actors. I do miss the lights of hyperspace. <laughs> what do you miss, L-52? Maybe those... Uh, Yellow travel biscuits from the Russian guys. <laughs> oh, that brings back memories. Oh, so basically, they pardon the most of the people who no, fought you can't. For, for the Empire. Gotta say, though, I like the red ones. Oh, oh crazy. Gave them a second travel chance, which I guess is somewhat fair because a lot of them had no choice. But a lot of them signed up too. They were just evil. All right. This is how hotels should look. They have Star Wars ones that look like this now. But they are ridiculously priced that normal folk can't afford it. One moment. 
I feel like somebody's trying to is about to show up and threaten him and make him do stuff he don't want to do. That's where I think this is going. But who and what? Don't let it be Moff Gideon. Uh uh, this is how you get snatched up. I close the close door. The door. Click. Mm -hmm. I ain't finna step out there. If ain't nothing on the immediate floor, I'm good. That's how you get sniped. How you ain't see that? The first place I'm looking is down. If ain't nothing. Look, we talk about crazy stuff, and if this is somebody doing something maybe nice, or is that the way, uh, somebody's way of saying I've been listening? I don't know. I'm skeptical. But where's Mando and Grogu going ready to get back? Morning, 52. Happy Bindu Day. Bindu Day? Another set for our kind Is that what he just said? Not Bindu. Good morning. This sounds like Pokemon music. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just dumb. Yeah, those uh, lollipops or whatever those things are look amazing. It's giving like cotton We were close to making some incredible breakthroughs. In the right hands, our discoveries could have helped a lot of people. So why not continue your research here? I don't think it's something the New Republic would be interested in. The ethics of cloning are complicated. But if it could help the New Republic, isn't that important enough? Following orders blindly is how we got in trouble in the first place. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. Is it, um, ice? You want to touch it? I think it is some sort of ice pop. Are we allowed to? That glows. Allowed? Live a little, dog. It's not the Empire. Please refrain from physical contact. So sorry. She knew that. No littering. That is what we need. Yeah. I'm tired of driving around seeing trash everywhere. Cause y'all lazy. Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment towards your coworkers? No. Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government or its representatives? No. If I were to pursue my own research recreationally, would that be allowed? According to your file, your previous research involved cloning and genetic engineering. That class of research is expressly prohibited by the Chorus and Accords, Section 13, Subparagraph 7. My apologies. Do you have any further questions? I feel like for something like this, you should have a real person, you know, to be able to judge whether somebody's lying or not. I think they I was thinking that, but it didn't give anything to allude to that. I mean, not that I don't believe anything he's saying. I'm just like, for other people. My research, I've been thinking about it. Sounds like you want to continue it. What do you need? What is her angle? Well, not much to get started. Um, some yeah. supplies, a mobile lab station. You want to help the New Republic. They just can't see it yet. We can get you a mobile lab station. But it would require going outside our designated perimeter. I can't do that. I feel like she was put in place to if they found get out, him we'd there both to get him back into the morning to do that. That's why she brought yeah. up the whole idea. That's why they got him the biscuits. They've been watching him for sure. Floor. Give him somebody he can relate to and sympathize really with, she but she's really playing him. And he has a lot of doubt and she keeps reassuring him. Got him the biscuits Are to reminisce, get him in that mindset like, due to work or I'm here, matters? you know, the no. empire. Any feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government or its representatives? Yes. Apologies if you didn't hear me. He had just his ears when he's about to tell a lie. of anger or resentment? No. Thank you for continuing Our main objective is to help the Republic, right? Correct. And that supersedes everything else? It does. Thank you for continuing to be an important part of the Amnesty program. Have a nice That's day. That's all you need to hear. He wants to help so bad. Dang, so he told that lie about his mom dying. I don't know. I'm just that was my observation. He when he gets uncomfortable, yeah. mobile last maybe it's just that he was uncomfortable talking about his mom, so Let's he go that, but he was uncomfortable asking. Answering that question. Tomorrow night. I'm getting tired. Where's Mando and Grogu? They could have told the story and cut back to Mando and Grogu. Like, I literally feel like we switched to a different show. I'm not gonna lie. 
Like, we can't start the episode off blasting shit and fucking shit up and then... You're helping the new republic. Taking our time, but... It's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. You're better at this than I am. He's an unstable man. And that's how you know she's shady, because how are you just good at acting, ma'am? He's physically uncomfortable doing this, and she's not, because this is her mission. Mm -hmm. Hey, big right, chungus. What if you going to get on a train with somebody like black man? Right. I can't be staring at you. I was going on the train pieces to detach. We're gonna jump. What? You're gonna jump. Uh-oh, I like my limbs. Um. Jump one second too soon or late, you're just screwed. These chips are all inoperable. You need to guard them. Perfect place for somebody to hide. You know what? What, what if uh, Moff Gideon's droids are here? The, um, I forget what they were called, but the little black death droids, and that's what they're trying to reactivate. Only take what I need. So I'll go into the scrap heap. I remember the first time I was in a place like this, I couldn't believe I'd made it. What was that? Settling. Mm -mm. Keep packing. I'll keep watching. She know what it is. She don't want him to be worried. Uh -huh. He got what he needs because they gonna want him to clone something. It was all about doing this quietly and getting him the stuff he needed. Go ahead, get what you need because they don't know what he needs. I wasn't trying to- No need. Amnesty Officer G-68 has already submitted a report. We understand that the adjustment can be difficult. No, no, no. I, I think there's been a mistake. Well, I wasn't trying to help you. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to overcome. Uh, uh, wait, uh, this is a mind flare. This is a 602 mitigator. It's a non-invasive experimental treatment recently approved for rehabilitation. No, it's a mind flare. It's a similar device, but we found at low voltages it can be used to help soothe select traumatic memories, pleasant colors, uh, hear a light buzzing, huh, and experience a yeah. great sense of relief in no time at all. You're gonna wipe my mind. Absolutely not. This isn't the Empire, son. This device is used to heal. I've been through the treatment myself, in fact, and I found the experience quite refreshing. I'll be here when you wake up. You don't understand. She brought me there. It was a trap. Please, I just wanted to help. She set me up. You set me up. The question is why? They got what they needed from him, which was just what you couldn't do. I thought he was doing so well. You've done the right thing. Thanks. I know this will help him. It will. You are a real credit to this program. It's nice to know that for every failure, there's a success. Like you. Maybe it will help him. Shall we? Maybe she's Must I stay? doing him a favor, getting what she needed and helping him. He relapsed. He's a friend. I still care about him. Of course you do. They seem really enthusiastic yes. about their new device. 
At the very least, I do, I do hope it helps him. Unless you're about to fuck his shit up and turn it to a high dosage to wipe his mind. Yep. And fuck his shit up. Alright, so we're going back to Mando Grogu. Good, because I'm like, I still don't even know what that all was about. It'll come into play later. They still live by the old ways. Yes, it will go smoother if you keep your helmet on. Trust me. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I do it old school. Come no further. You are an apostate, you jar. No longer. I have been to the mines of Mandalore. Impossible. The mines were collapsed in the purge. The planet is cursed. These are lies meant to keep us in exile. How do we know that it is not you who is lying? He speaks the truth. I was witness. And who are you? Try it out. Don't take the helmet off. I am bo of Clan Kreese. Your house has fallen from the way. You are both apostates. We have been to the living waters. Oh yeah, she was in the water. Yeah. She didn't say that. I bring water. proof. I don't think that's necessary. I think he was just doing it out of custom, but I don't think it's, I think he just got a baby. We shall see. I was witness. He fell into the depths and I pulled him out. He speaks the truth. These are indeed the living waters. Din Djarin, you are redeemed. All right, all right, all right. This is the way. This is the way. Bo-Katan Kreez. By creed, you too are redeemed. But I do not walk the way. Did you bathe in the water? I did. And have you removed your helmet since? No. No, I have not. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors once did. You may leave any time you wish. Until then, you are one of us. Welcome, Bo-Katan of Clan Creed. This is the way. This is the way. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be back. Good to be back. Broken time, might as well stay with your peoples. I mean, this is as close as your peoples is going to you know, be. She may like it. Gotta try a different way. All right. Well, this is chapter 19. Um. Not my favorite, of course. We spent a good chunk of the episode on Coruscant. Um, but I, I'm sure that's going to come into play later. I just don't see the bigger picture yet. Um, I definitely think it could have been condensed a bit. Sped definitely. some of that stuff along because most of that stuff is going to be edited out anyway. Um, because it's just traveling and, you know, chatter. Just beating around the bush, basically. Yeah. Um, but... I'm glad I, I'm I know but Bo Katan's not happy, but I'm glad that her home was destroyed and she was kind of forced, forced to come here. Yeah. Uh I think this will be beneficial for her. I want her to stick around. I really enjoy that character. Um She was isolated. I mean she had a robot. Yeah, so and so it wasn't doing much for her. No, and I think she can do more good when she has like something to follow, something to believe in, even though she doesn't quite understand it yet. I think now that they've kind of given her the option, hey, I mean, you can leave whenever you want, but for now, you so far are following the way, so yeah. stick with it for a bit. Yeah. See if you like it or not. So hopefully she does, um, and let's see what they do next. That's why I really wanted to see like them come back here, get this part over with, and now I want to see what they do next. Are they going to go to the plan and try to fix it or what? Now i got to wait another week because you gave me 40 fucking minutes of Dr. Perishing and who just got fucked up at the end, and I don't know, whatever the girl's name was. Don't know who she's working for. Don't know what her end game is. They just wanted the cloning equipment, so clearly they're still going with the, probably trying to clone Grogu. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll have to see if Moff Gideon's behind that or somebody else. Uh, I really wish they would just give us more instead. I, I feel like a lot of the chatter and, tr you know, train travel scene and all that was just filler. I get it was development for him, and it was important to see how he was manipulated and stuff but come on i really wish it was just split up in between episodes or at least like it cut back, back and, forth. and forth yeah, yeah that been... 
instead of a good straight like 30 minutes of them just it got dry i'm like okay because you know you don't really care about those two characters right you you feel sympathy for the guy not the doctor because he did want change but i'm uh, still not interested in him <laughs> not gonna lie yeah. i feel bad for him that he got fucked over in the end because he seemed like he wanted redemption but and he was traumatized by what the Empire was doing. I mean, most of them, is if they stopped or tried to quit or whatever, they would have been killed. So I do get mm -hmm. that. And he did like what he was doing. He truly thought in his head that he was going to be, you know, he was helping people. Right. Even though he was working for an evil organization. But... Um, they just brainwashed. I mean... Yeah, and now he's getting... He got used and now abused. So... Sucks. But... We'll see what they do with it, y'all. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. The Mando Bye.